Good morning, you guys. Today is Saturday, and I am so, 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 so freaking excited. You guys, I have a Note 3. Yes, I said that correctly. I have a Note 3, and today I am going to get the Note 10 Plus. The Note 10 Plus. I'm going to pick it up. I'm getting ready to take my shower. I'm getting ready to get dressed. I've been waiting until 10.30 because I ordered it online yesterday. And I've been waiting for the email for them to tell me I can come pick up my freaking phone. And now I'm going to pick up my phone. There is... A short story behind this note 10 plus I will tell you guys later the story once I pick up my phone once I have it in hand I'm gonna tell you guys what happened when I went inside T-Mobile because I'm very 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 disappointed with T-Mobile and you know I've been with them for over five years all right you guys I got the goods it was very very quick now I have to find out how in the hell do I get back home okay I'm thinking that this is the bus over here I hope that's the bus because I'm not familiar with this area so let me go and look but yeah it was very very quick the guy just took my ID and my um, bank card. What stop is this? Kings Highway in East 18th Street. Okay. All I know is that this bus is supposed to go back down where I just came from. So yeah, so it was very, very quick. And I am just so excited. So when I get back home, I will unbox it. We'll go through it and see what this thing is all about. All right, you guys, I just went over to Wendy's. Now, I don't go to Wendy's because I don't, I don't really frequent fast food places. Now, I'm not really sure what is necessarily considered a fast food restaurant, but I do frequent Popeyes, so, and I guess people would definitely consider that a fast food place. When I was inside Wendy's, let me look behind me. <laughs> there was this, I had my Verizon bag down on the counter. And the guy came like on the side of me, like for no reason. There was like no reason for him to come on the side of me. Me and him, we would have had a fight. I just want y'all to know that. That would have been the title of this video. I whooped guys ass for my Note 10 Plus. Problem. All right, so I'm gonna try these Wendy Nuggets that people have been talking about that everybody on the internet was making a big deal threatening Wendy's to bring them back. I've never tried them before, so I figured I will go ahead and try them. Okay, so I just tried the nuggets, and they're not bad. They're not bad. They taste a little better with the sauce on them, but they, they're not bad at all. But would I buy them again? All right, so you guys, before I open up this Samsung Note 10 Plus, Okay, that wasn't a good plus. Plus. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys what happened concerning why I switch from T-Mobile to Verizon. Okay, so I've been with T-Mobile for over five years, and so naturally, and I've, I'm in stupendous standing with them. So naturally, I'm thinking, okay, hey, listen, the Note 
10 plus or the note 10 whatever is coming out they're coming out with a new phone and you guys if anyone watched my video from the park i was very excited about the new samsung note that was coming out and so of course as soon as it i heard it was coming out i wanted to have it i wanted it i've heard so much about it i watched a few reviews before it even came out on youtube and i liked what i seen i liked what i heard and so when i went to apply for the phone online online it said that i would have to put down 379 for the note 10 and 479 i believe for the note 10 plus and so i was shocked i was like oh no there must be some type of mistake you know maybe online is different let me go ahead into the store so i went into the store when i went into the store I spoke with one of the the agents there one of the t-mobile agents and at first she told me that i would have to put down 229 and so i said oh okay well that's much better than the 479 that they said i had i would have to pay down on online and so i told her i said okay well you know what i will be back so i waited and i wanted to wait until the day it actually came out because i didn't want to pre-order it for what have my money sitting somewhere and i can just go into the store and pick it up i can get the phone the same day and then that's it so i didn't pre-order it so when i went in to the store yesterday yeah friday i went i went to i went to the store yesterday which was the 23rd and i asked for the young lady who served me two weeks ago and so I, at first I asked the lady another uh, agent I asked them I said is the note 10 the note 10 plus in and she said yes they're in so I asked her for the agent that I had previously spoke with uh, because she told me if I you know before I come in to give her a call just to make sure that she's going to be in that day and so because she was very nice and she was very helpful that day i wanted to go ahead and you know see her again and so when i sat down with her this yesterday she told me i would have to put a down payment of 479 and i'm like what i was like the last time i was here you told me i would have to put down 229 and she was like, yeah, she was like, um, well, this is what they have you put paying down on. So I said, oh, wow. She was like, well, you can call, you know, T-Mobile Customer Service. So that's what I did. I called T-Mobile Customer Service and I explained to the lady and the lady said, you know, I understand. I see you've been in good standing. I see you've been with us for a while. But, you know, being that there's a contract with Samsung, there's nothing that we can do and you know that is most unfortunately the price you have to pay so i said oh really i said wow i said you know that's yeah i i truly don't understand that and i said well unfortunately i need to go ahead and close my account so she was like okay initially and then she turned around to say well let me see what i can do for you as far as the down payment and i told her i said no that is okay because initially you told me there was nothing that you can do for me and so i just want to go ahead and close my account so ultimately i just closed my account and you know what i've been with them for a while i like t-mobile i didn't have any problems with t-mobile but it's just like you don't do your customers that way you see what I'm saying? You don't do your customers that way. Someone's been with you for a while. They've been paying on time and different things like that. That is not what you do to your customers. And so it was nothing that that lady could say to me to make me stay after what um, transpired. And so I decided to take myself to, of course, Verizon. The payment that I had to 
put down yesterday was $115. Now the $115 is just federal taxes and different things like that. It won't go towards my bill. It won't go towards the phone or anything like that. But it listen, $115 is not $229, which was incorrectly stated to me. And it wasn't $479, which because of some supposed T-Mobile Samsung contract that they could not give it to me for a lower price where Verizon gave it to me for zero down and so now I am a Verizon customer and I would say to anyone do not accept bad customer service do not accept it you if, listen if you know that you're in the right of things like you know your credit is not in the garbage you haven't been just getting things and not paying for it you know that everything is on the up and up you've been coming up you've been trying you know may have made some mistakes in the past but now you've been you know pretty much taking care of your business do not allow companies to take advantage of you you have other options and that's why I'm really glad that there is things in place so that phone companies do not become a monopoly because then that is when they can do whatever they want so enough of that and so let's get on to this Hi you guys, can you see me? Hi, hi, hi. Let's just turn it over on the bed. Empty box. Let's see what these accessories are first. So let's take this off and let's get to this. Wow, look how you can see that. Oh my goodness. Wow, I can use this as a mirror. Wow, that is a beaut. Yeah, that's a beaut. Wow. That's the front. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this on. I think you hold this button down. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Hello. All right, let me get my phone. So this is the Note 3. And this is the 10 plus. <laughs> so. <laughs> Alright. Cable and USB connector. Um, let's do wireless. Right. So basically I'm just putting in my email. Or the phones. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the password. So remember this password, if you forget it, you'll need to reset your phone and all data will be erased. What? My goodness, this so, what the hell? What in the world? Wow, I have never set up password protection on my phone. It wasn't really a big deal to me, but I'm going ahead and I'm setting it up on this phone because when I said not now, it basically was like, listen fool, go back and set up the damn pad. All right, you guys, so we are going to check out with the Note 10, well, no, with the Samsung Note is famous for, and that would be its 
S pen. So let's go ahead and take that out of there. And you're just going to press down and it pops right on out. And then you just pull it out, probably a little forcefully, because I had to pull that out just a little bit forcefully. And it lights up to let you know that it is generated. All right, so I'm going to just write on the screen. I like the pettiness. <laughs> I'm We're going to go ahead and save that first note. So let's take our first picture with the phone. Okay. So we took a picture together. Let's take another picture. Okay. So let's be this way. So as you guys see, I'm all set up. Let's go look at these pictures that I took. Right? That's beautiful. Alright. I am so excited about my phone. Let's do video. Oh. That video is looking good. Let's press it. So hey you guys, I am currently on my Note 10 Plus and I'm just doing a little video right now. So, yeah. Alright, let's stop that video. Oh, play video. Allow. Let's just do a video in live focus really quickly. I'm sorry, you guys, that my hair is looking a total wreck, a total mess. You have to excuse me, but I was just so excited about this phone that I was not thinking about anything else. But this is live focus right now. And so how do you guys like the live focus? My lips are kind of dry, but that's okay. Don't worry about the lips. This is not what we're here for. We're here for the Note 10 live focus Okay. This is not what we're here for. We're here for the Note 10 live focus. Okay. Okay. Let's go back. And we're not going to do hyperlapse. We're not going to do hyperlapse. We did the photo. We did live focus. We don't need to do night because night we don't need. But let's go back to live focus. They have two live focus. And I'm. Oh. I guess that's a live focus video on um, camera. All right, so let's press in here. Let's press in there. Let's press in there. That's kind of weird. And let's press in there. Oh, okay, so pretty much I guess it just blurs. Yeah, it's like a blurring effect. All right, we're calling Sailor. Yo, what up? Who is this? What do you mean who it is? My name is Mia. <laughs> <laughs> my name is so much. I'm like, who is this? Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys 110%. And um, you guys enjoy the rest of the weekend. Mm -hmm.